Thank you, Captain Top. Well, very interesting. Um, and we will revisit uh, uh, soon, but I'll let others speak as well. So I think up next, I want to go to Kun, Kun Mai Sri Ganya um, about her vision of Thailand as, a, as an active politician. Thank you, and thank you, FCCT, for having me today. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here again in less than one week. Uh, a lot of you uh, were here, and I, I'm with uh, my party leader to give an introduction to People's Party. And uh, for today, it's um, maybe another hat of mine that I am an active um, politician who is really keen um, and uh, work closely about the econ economy, right? So um, my, my vision for Thailand, um, future economy will be focused on how um, we can make, um, can foster the economic growth with um, to make and also to make sure that is inclusive growth. So basically, um, I totally agree with um, what Kun Top has said that uh, we dire need um, the new engine of growth because uh, the old engine are already obsolete. We um, we used to. Uh, have these um, three key major exporting sectors like um, ICE cars, um, electronics, hard disk drive, and uh, petrochemicals, and these stuffs are in the sunset industries already. And of course, we want to pass, skip to something really complicated, high technology, just like what Kuntop has mentioned but how we gonna transit to, to that position. It will need uh, a lot of you know, hard work and political will just to get there. Um, we just learned um, recently that even the e it seems to be easy transit from ICE cars to EV cars, not that easy. And we face the fact, the challenges that uh, we couldn't you know, upskill and reskill people, uh, factory workers that used to be in the IC cars industry, you know, and um, make them uh, be able or capable to work in the EV cars anymore. The parts in EV cars has reduced like 90% from um, uh, 10 of thousand parts to just uh, a few thousand parts and totally different. You know, um, Thai workers are really, um, expertise in the mechanic and stuff, but uh, electronic stuff is totally different thing. So we have this bottleneck of uh, trying to upskill and reskill. So it's something that we have to have very neat plan to transit and make sure that it's a just transition as well. So um, what I'm trying to um, make use of what is the mega trends of the world. For example, um, Kuntop said about the sustainability, right? So uh, green growth is something that it's not optional, but um, it's a necessity for our growth. It's not only to deal with the regulations that, so that we can export to um, the destination countries that has this, uh, this, uh, those laws and regulations about the, um, the, the, the carbon emissions and stuffs, but uh, we have to have um, clear vision, clear plan, uh, in order that we can uh, foster growth from the green sectors. I'm not talking about that Thailand should become the renewable energy um, generation base only, is what the government has said. But I'm thinking about if we want to go to the renewable energy um, sector, we might have the opportunity to do something in a very upstream um, industry. For example, the power semiconductor will be the you know in will be the essential elements in every single uh, tools and equipments that we'll uh, have to use with the with those renewable energy, for example, the inverter, the like a regulator, all of that, we have to have this powerful power semiconductors. And that's uh, something that uh, we don't really have, um, you know, major players in the world yet. Um, 
we have good news that uh, PTT has just announced a joint venture with HANA um, Industry uh, to have these uh, new, um, in, uh, new factories that will produce the silicon carbide uh, semiconductor in Lampoon in the high-tech um, industrial park. That's uh, one uh, step uh, forward that we can, um, you know, uh, reap the benefits that all countries in the world want to go green, so they have to use this kind of um, uh, equipments and tools that uh, compose of this, uh, the powerful power semiconductor ship, for example. That's, um, that's uh, what we um, see that our future uh, of economy has uh, relied uh, heavily on this um, green growth, but um, we have to think about how to, um, you know, of course we want to attract, um, you know, foreign direct investments and stuff like that to, to get the benefit of those um, advanced technology, but right now all the tools that we have to attract the new investors are just, um, you know, the same old, same old tax holidays. Uh, we started to give some grants and subsidies, but um, um, it will take very, very long process just uh, to approve for one project. For example, this uh, PTT and HANA joint venture, it takes them, it took them almost three years just uh, to get the approval of grants from Board of Investment in Thailand. So um, it's something that um, uh, we wish that we could achieve, but uh, we don't know yet that, uh, when we're gonna have this uh, opportunity. But the last thing that I want to emphasize is about the inclusivity. Every time we talk about growth, um, it's something that uh, people will think that we have to trade off with, um, you know, between growth and redistribution, or we have to trade off between the, um, you know, growth-driven mega projects with those uh, micro projects that will increase the quality of life of the people. So we now have these um, projects um, within our uh, party that uh, we're gonna launch this policy that we will uh, translate the needs to um, quality of life improvement of the people of Thailand into um, growth um, engine. For example, those basic fundamental um, needs of people, clean air, uh, portable water, um, green spaces, smart cities, those can, can be translated into um, jobs creation and um, new businesses, new industries. Um, only if we um, gonna do it with the strategic procurement, you know, to use the government spending and direct it to those, um, you know, micro projects that will, uh, in one way, will improve the quality of people's life. For example, all, all the sensors that uh, will detect the PM 2.5 or the smart meter for those um, tap water smart meter for the electricity um, for the um, you know the next uh, smart grid technology to come so we need uh, this kind of um, equipments that uh, have the element uh, of those um, chips design and uh, um, those um, technology with the IOT thing uh, that uh, we can create uh, the new jobs as a uh, system integrators uh, the new jobs of those who um, produce the um, chips and um, printed circuit boards that are uh, specifically designed for, for these, uh, the cities or um, for this both for the procurement of both general government and the local governments. And that's, I think, is the way that we can make the growth more inclusive and um, the things that uh, we, ha we want to improve the quality of life of the people is not something that is totally uh, irrelevant to, to foster the economic growth. So for this first round, I will sum up that um, for the new growth that uh, we want to see for Thailand, we need uh, the new engine of growth that um, to replace all obsolete 
uh, sectors. And we will go for green growth that um, will reap the benefits that all the countries in the world will go green and we then need all the equipments to, to deal with that. And the last one, we want to make sure that local people can all get the fair share of this uh, economic development by um, make sure that uh, every time that we think about the project to improve the quality of life, that means that we can create a new industry and jobs creation in the entire economy. Thank you. Thank you. ดูคลิปจบแล้วอย่าลืมกดไลค์กดแชร์กดติดตามกดกระดิ่งให้ด้วยนะครับ